Jesus, Jesus. Never in my life have I seen the sky light up like this. A lovely fish. A lovely little guy. Oh, oh, wow. Deal. We've got a, I think it's an eight o'clock high. We're here at low. Have a mess around in the shallows with some bass. And uh, hopefully, an elephant fish reveals itself today. I can't see why not. It's looking gorgeous. Good. Right, we are in the water. At three and a half hours, four hours before high. Robbie Boy's just down there bedding his new lining. I'm gonna cut the cast with a plain lead. It's really, really warm for the end of April, which is nice. And I'll give these 10 minutes and then check the crab situation. And then we'll have a look at some baits and some rigs and hopefully some fish. There's a couple of other people. He's had Matey down there said he's had a couple of skate and a doggy. To which my reply was they're not the right fish. <laughs> nah, looking perfect. Looking lovely for it. Is that 100 cent a stinger? Nothing else. I thought it was a rock. You saw that nodding. Didn't yeah. This is a big fish rod. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Boiling. Come on! Did you see that? Yeah, it surfaced. Look, there it is. There it's there. Oh, yeah. Well, do me a favour. Can you pause that? Then hold the fud up. Let's start it again, yeah? Yep, yeah, you're going. Can you fucking see the size of that one? Yeah, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, it's just surfacing. Mate. <laughs> That's all good on that other rod. Come on! That's right down by ya. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's a proper one, Bob, isn't it? Yeah, mate. That other line, it's getting on that other line. That is massive, mate. Come on! Come on, fucking look at that, Rob. Oh. I've done it again. I'm shaking. We've got, a, I don't know, 50 pound stinger <laughs> on the beach. 
Come on, the boys! <laughs> Come on! Right, Rob, I'll get wet for that. We've done it again. Fucking done it again. We you saying that ways, Rob? That's 50, 60 pound, isn't it? Clacton's done us proud again. Let's get this thing out, get our nooked, get it wide. No yeah, size of that. Let's get that unhooked. Right. There we go. Rob, watch your shadow, please, mate. Thank you. Lovely. Let's get this wide. What are you saying? 60? I don't know, 50, 60. <laughs> You're going to now. There we go, 50, 60, 58, 57, 62. Ah, oh, still on the floor. Sorry, Rob, go on, go on, go on. One last lift. 56, 57. It's filming, yeah. Oh. What's that sound? Oh. 58. Right, lovely. Bit of a uh, calamity, really. Fucking accidentally deleted the footage of us um, releasing that, but it was flatter in between 55 and 62 pounds. Me and Rob lifted it up again and it stopped at 58. Oh, he's just got a eel. Was that a Congo or a normal eel? But yeah, so we scuffed that footage up, but um, no, nah, no matter. No matter. Lovely to have one in April as well. Hoping on another one now. That one was 58 pounds. <coughs> Lovely colour. I did have more footage, we somehow messed it up. I think we um, got a bit skittish. It was so early in the year and uh, I was a bit panicky about getting it in, to be honest. But hopefully get another one, I just had another look. And it was an absolute classic telltale ray bite. We were standing about 10 yards away from the rods and we both saw it have a little jiggle about. I looked at him, I went, hmm, that's only 20, 25 yards out. So he watched it for another 10 seconds and it just nod, nod, nod and stayed there wobbling about. I picked it up, struck into it and it felt like um, I'd hooked a log. It's exactly the same as the last big one I had. Felt like I'd hooked a log for five seconds until it woke up then it just had a little tear about. It was only about a uh, two, three minute fight actually but it was so close in. No, brilliant, brilliant to get one. Made it worth it, that's for sure standard pulley panel rigs um, I only use two O's two O's Sakuma top guns they're so strong and um, the stingers ain't, ain't really got massive mouths for their size but hoping Robbie boy gets one I would have done anything for him to have one I've had one like that before and uh, would have loved to have seen him get one but we've still got plenty of time perfect state of tide we've got tons and tons of pucker ragworm so let's see if we can't get another one well, I'm guessing that means Summer's well and truly here, boys. Stingers and hounds, only little, but off you go. Off you go. Still buzzing, Barry buzzing about that stinger, boy. Snazzy. A little bass. So it's a dog ear hound, the stinger, the bass. It is absolute summer. Thank goodness for that. I was getting sick of winter. Christ's sake. That is why I bring three, four pound of ragworm. You do it when you're making baits like that. 30, 30 casts on each rod. The same guys. Sun's going down there. Another nine quid rag bait going out. In the gutter. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit now, it's getting a little bit chilly. Still buzzing on that singer. <laughs> and no nudists. I've only seen three penises today. What a, f what a touch. It's an absolute touch. <laughs> yeah, 
constant little bites now. Tired that little pull for the first 10, 15 minutes, but it's eased off again now. I've got one 25, 30 yards out and then one, I don't know, 80, I suppose. I think the dogfish are on the munch, to be fair. Lovely evening. It's just a little bit cold, and if it weren't for them bloody crab, every day, every time, every time I come up here, it's absolute crabs galore. It's so, so deflating, but you've just got to get, honestly, it's every five minutes you're recasting. Massive bait, so the whole time you're not baiting up, you're making baits to do a quick change on the snood, just to make sure you're fishing. And it can get so, so deflating, but if you don't fish properly, then you're not gonna catch anything. Within five minutes, you've got no bait out there, and that's just the average day at St. Joseph's. Strange place. And a long walk back. We've both had more bites the last 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, than the whole day. As soon as that tide swung round, let's say he's got another little bass. Little schoolie that wanted to wreck. Isn't it amazing, you? Save him, give him the bear rug, yeah. Keep it, Rob. Eat it. Yep, she's returned. Cold now. And dark now. Load of doggies and whiting. Still on the rag, I'm dropping him really close because I'm sick of my rod jaddering to the poxy dogfish, mate. Rob's had a few bass. I think he's had a dogfish or two. He won't, won't be long now. Call it a night, it's getting pretty cold. <laughs> 